How you doing YouTube? Another video with Sean Jackson here. I wanted to hop on here, give you all an idea how credit works. We've been talking about credit in my last couple videos. You know, the ups and downs of how to go through to buy this house. And the reason I want to do this is because I knew nothing about credit years ago. When I bought this house, um, my credit score was a 740. But three years before that, it was a 498. So I studied credit to the fullest and how it worked, just so I could get my life back on track and learn how credit works. So let's get to the video. I got on-time payments. That's the number one thing that affects a credit score. It's 30% of your, uh, of your uh, payment. So if you miss an on-time payment, right, it affects your credit 30%. Number two, maxing out your credit limit, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example. If you have a $1,000 credit card limit, they only really want you to use 30% of the utilization, which that means, I'll break it down if you don't know what utilization means. If you have a credit card with a $1,000 limit, they don't want you using any more than 30% of that. So a $1,000 limit credit card, you shouldn't go over 300. And if you do go over 300, Make sure you pay that balance off before the end of the month so they don't see you dead. You know what I mean? Because that really affects your credit score. If you max your credit card out, because I've done it a couple times, it shoots your score down tremendously. Number three, card history, credit card history. It affects it by 20%, right? Credit card history, how many lines of credit you have, how many credit cards you got. You got one, two, three. Do you, have a, do you have a car payment? Do you have a mortgage? All them different things bump your credit score up over time also. Now, like me, when I just bought my first house, when I first bought my house, because it was new, it shot my credit down a little bit, but now it's starting to go back up as I make my mortgage payments, okay? Number four, card mix. Closing old accounts right so you want to have different kind of cards not just one credit card you want to have different kind of credit limits right and the worst thing you can do is close a credit card because if you close a credit card it makes your credit history shorter right so it affects it it'll drop your points so instead of closing a credit card if you don't want it just cut it up and don't use it or use it every you know once every six months just to keep it because closing a, closing a credit card out really affects your score and drops it, right? So that is about 15% of your credit score. So it doesn't affect it that mad, I mean that much as, you know, your on-time payments, that's the number one most important thing is the 30% is on-time payments, right? So number five, getting new lines of credit, getting a new credit card, opening it up, uh, for a new vehicle, go finance a vehicle, getting a house, a mortgage, all that stuff over time ups your credit score and gives you more opportunity and leverage to do different deals with different people and banks. So I got a couple more notes here, right? So talking about number one on the on-time payments, this is just what I do. On-time payments, I always have all my credit cards on auto pay. So that way I don't even have to think about it. You know, because uh, you know everybody has life going on. And what I do is I have it all on auto pay. So as soon as it's the bill date, it just comes right out of my checking account. I don't have to think about it, it just comes out. If I want to pay extra on my credit card, I can. But at least I know every month the minimum payments on my credit card are getting paid. I don't even have to stress about it, right? Number two, maxing out your credit card. You should never go over 30% of the amount you have. We just talked about that. Pay the whole balance down over 30% of your limit. Have multiple credit lines open. The more credit lines you have open, the banks like seeing that. The banks, it's kind of like a game, guys. The banks like to see you having different lines of credit open. It makes you look responsible to them. I was just telling a friend of mine, John, that when you get a credit card, your first credit card, just say, hypothetically, you had a $1,000 limit, right? And 30, 
percent utilization, you shouldn't go over three hundred dollars, right? But say you max it out to a thousand. Well, that fucking that credit union is going to think, well, man, I just gave him a thousand dollars and he maxed it out. He must not be good with money. But if you keep it under three hundred dollars, under thirty percent of the thousand, they're going to they're going to email you in a couple months and want to raise your credit limit. Like that's what happened to me. For the first six months, I never went over 30% and I doubled, I went from a thousand dollar credit limit to 2,000. Six months later, I went to 3,000. So you just got, it's, just, it's really just a big game, guys. We have to play. That's all it is to it. Have multiple lines of credit open. Well, don't open or try to get a card at the same times month after month because the more cards you get within a couple of months, it's called hard inquiries. They're going to deny you. It doesn't look good. So they don't want you applying for new credit cards once a month. It just doesn't look good. You look desperate. That's how the banks look at it. Like you're desperate for money. So don't do that. And like I told you earlier, closing old cards out isn't good neither because it drops your credit score tremendously. Um, what else do I have here? I was thinking about telling you guys. Um, Okay, here you go. I just thought about this one. A lot of people I know, they don't have credit cards at all. They like paying their cards in cash. They don't, they use their bank cards everywhere, right? They don't like using credit. They pay for everything with cash or their debit card. Here's the problem with that. We're not, we're not, you know, if you went back 80 years ago, it was cool back then. But nowadays, Unless you have a credit score, you cannot buy a house. You cannot buy a car unless you're paying it in cash, of course. But how many people got, you know, want a sixty thousand dollar car got sixty grand in cash to give them? Not many, right? Not many middle class people or lower class people. So, credit is so important. You need to get your credit straight, right? There's guys that have seven fifty, eight hundred credit scores. They can walk in any dealership and just sign their name with no money down and leave with that vehicle. That's how important credit is. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I hope you guys, you know, realize that because they used to say money's king. It's not like that no more. Credit's king nowadays. Credit can buy you anything. And wouldn't you rather use somebody else's money than use your own, right? Because I know a lot of people that are opposite of that. I'm different. I'd rather use somebody else's money than use my own because I'm going to give you an example. Say uh, I took a loan out a couple months ago, right? I took a $5,000 loan out off of my uh, cryptocurrency. My interest rate on the loan that I had to pay back, right, was 4%. So I'm not worried about paying that loan back because I invested that money into the market. So I'm paying 4% to pay the loan back off, but I'm making 32% in the market. So why would I hurry up and want to rush and pay this loan off? I don't want to, I, I want to pay this loan off as slow as I can because I got the money at cheap. I paid 4% for that money. I'm making 32% in the stock market at the time when I was doing this. You get what I'm saying? So once my portfolio built, then I paid my credit card off. People just got to start, you know, doing their homework and the numbers and stuff like that and, you know, doing research on their credit, credit reports. So I'm just, uh, you know, that, that's really the point of my YouTube channel. I'm trying to educate people. I mean, I'm only 29. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I figure why not the little bit of knowledge I do know over the last couple years. And you can ask anybody that I know. I, I study the shit out of this stuff and I'm passionate about it. So that's why I wanted to get on here. You know what I mean? Make a video, throw it at you guys. I just built a little setup. I'm still waiting to paint the basement and all that. So I just wanted to hop on here and give you another video. And uh, I hope to talk to you guys soon. If you got any education from this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, I appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm, when you hit the like button, the like button sends it to uh, different people on YouTube to watch. I appreciate it, guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.